this, this is a Sonic Query. I made this video to uh, basically teach you how to install Python. I'm just going to open my browser. I use Mozilla Firefox, but it's my favorite. However, you can use the Internet Explorer here if you like. Um, doesn't matter. Basically, you go to your Google uh, website um, and search. I usually search it here, but I, I want to be comprehensive. You search Python. All right. And as you can see, this is a symbol of Python. Here is the website. There is a download here. You can click on it, and it goes here. This is a main uh, page. For downloading Python, I'm gonna include this into the subscript part and comment part to know how to get to this link. If you can really found it, um, here you have two options. One would be download Python 2.7.14, which is the previous version, and the new one is download Python 3.6.4. The syntax is a little bit different between these two. I'm uh, going to strongly suggest that you use the latest one because in IT it's always good to use the latest uh, version of things because things change so often and uh, you need to do that. So we click on this and it asks me to basically download the exe file or execution file. This is a brand new laptop. I format everything so I'm install it as we go. Here is the save and it's saved. Then I'm going to click on my download, the file I have. So this is a 32-bit. Um, basically, most of the laptops nowadays is 64. However, it doesn't matter. Just go traditional next, next, next. It asks me to let them install that. So it's pretty fast, pretty decent, and just wait for installation to be over. All right. Done. So set setup was successful. Everything's fine, and we're gonna close it. So that is installing Python itself. However, if you don't know what Python is, let me search it here. Uh, enter the code to receive. Oh, that's the previous one. Let me close that. So here I am going to search Python. Here we go. And as you can see, it's in install. When you click on it, it opens a window like this, which is I can test that uh, this basically script um, works here or not. So we're going to simply test something. We're going to go print. And I'm going to use my name. And as you can see here, it prints my name as well. I'm going to test something else like a equals to 2, 3 as a variable, and then I'm going to print A. Here we go. So you see, you print A, and it shows number 3 right here. So this is Python. This is a script language. Me script language means you write the command, and it being executed right away. So one command, one execution. So it's like line by line and by line by line. And the problem with this is just it's really, really kind of hard to debug. Let's I go uh, print A, and we have an error. So I'm just going to do it again and again. So it's not a really friendly environment to do that. We need some sort of interpreter. Interpreter works some sort of compi like a compiler. I mean, it's not as comprehensive as... Uh, basically compiler, however, is way faster. It's kind of interpret between you and a language like Python. I'm going to install that as well. So I'm going to close that. So my Python is installed. However, I need something. Um, we're going to use something that is free for that matter. It's called that uh, PyCharm community. So we search that. Here we go. It's part of the JetBrains uh, family here. Let me click on that. And you get to this page. I'm going to include this link also uh, to this video. And 
there's two parts. It's one professional, one community. Community is the free version for students, for developers, or yourself that you can use. Um, this is the full version. The interpreters usually can work with many languages, including Python as well. Doesn't mean that even you install this, that's the only language it can cover. You can cover anything. So I'm gonna download that. Here we go, save it. I'm gonna skip that part till it's downloaded. See how fast it is. Well, we can wait 20 seconds, can we? Yeah, so the interpreter, basically what it does, it communicates with the portal or with this your Python or any languages, script languages that you want. It's easier to debug. You don't really need to go back and forth and make the life of, life of our, all of us easier. All right, so four seconds, almost done. Oh, pretty fast internet, huh? Done. All right, so I'm going to click on this. Sorry, guys, I'm doing this in one shot, and it's my first time, so any feedback will be appreciated. I'm not going to basically edit it that much. We might do the correction. So you go traditional next, next, all right. All right, so here you can select... Uh, what kind of shortcut you want if you're 32 some of you might have some 32 bits launcher you can do 64 um, all that or you can do none of it you know don't do none of it that's fine done installing all right extracting some files pretty fast meanwhile I'm cleaning my eyeglasses but I don't see really well right now. Always use the time you have for something else. All right. So this is supposed to help us to code easily in Python and basically interpret, interpreter, act as an interpreter for us to uh, basically run our languages. Okay, so you can run it. If you like, finish and run. All right. So you ask me, do you want to import? Apparently, I had this before. This is there's some setting. I said do not uh, import. If you don't see that uh, window, that's fine. Policy. Go read those. Blah blah blah. It's a really interesting policy. Read it and let me know what it is. And here we go. So we have this. You know, some perfect. Some of you prefer this layout, which is the dark and colorful. Uh, since I do teaching, I usually using the traditional white over blue. But some of you, if you code a lot, you've seen a lot of programmers actually use this. I'm gonna go with this, but it's up to you what you wanna use. Um, all right, those are new. Our language support. Oh, that's that's interesting. We don't want that. Uh, let's skip the and this and go to this basically default settings. Our language. Here we go. So we're gonna create a new project here. Let's call it test. And boom, you create. Click on create, and here we have it. So this is your basically interpreter, which is supposed to talk with Python. We want to make sure of it before we do. The first time it takes a little bit of time to kind of boot up, and after that you'll all be set for um, other stuff to do. And here we go. Um, so it says, "Welcome to the pie chart um, community." We're gonna close that. So this is our project here. I'm going to right click. Uh, first thing you're going to do, you want to make sure, here we go. So this is linked to your Python 3.6. So every time, let's say, you want to open a new project here, it's going to show this guy here. This is what we installed earlier. If it's not there, which is, it says base interpreter. If there is not there, 
doesn't really work with Python and we need that base to be here when you create your project you should see it here if you don't see it here you're gonna go and make sure uh, this guy here which is the original Python we installed right there this guy actually work properly and installed in the right folder do not change the folder usually they mess up the path and all that so we don't want to do that so let's test this one this one is more sweet but we're gonna just go file let's go a main and we're gonna repeat our basically print All right. And then we're going to run it. All right, right here. So I'm going to cover this again um, in another video. I'm out. I think it's more than 12 minutes. I don't think I can upload that much on YouTube now. Thank you.